Well, let's talk to Morgan Schondelmeyer from the free market think tank, the Adam Smith Institute. Welcome to you, Morgan. Um, according to the Institute, uh, Tax Freedom Day, I think, is tomorrow. Is that right? What does it mean? It's actually today, June oh, it's today. 8th. Yeah, so every year the Adam Smith Institute calculates the day that the average taxpayer has to work until in order to pay off their yearly tax bill. So we calculate um, net national income and the total tax take, and through that find that the average taxpayer works up until yesterday to pay off their yearly tax bill. From today, they can start earning from the, for themselves. I see. Well, that's something to look forward to then, obviously, after that. In terms of people's taxes, you may have just, you may have just heard uh, Jake Berry say that actually the government needs to act and become the low or lower taxation party. At the moment, how does it look? You, you say something to celebrate, and absolutely, it normally is, but today is Tax Freedom Day, and last year, Tax Freedom Day was May 31st. So we've jumped an entire week mm. later into the year, in just one year. Normally, you see Tax Freedom Day move by one or two days either side. So to have a, a, a jump of a week shows that we're having a really unprecedented tax burden on the average taxpayer. So there, we do need to take action, and take action quite quickly, because... Our projections using OBR data show that if we don't act, Tax Freedom Day will come on June 23rd by 2026, which is even later in the year. And it's hard to believe that we would have a tax burden that high in, in our country. Well